going on, everybody? This is Joe. And Amy. And we are back with another episode of Pokemon Diamond, Amy's fourth journey through the world of Pokemon. Last time, we switched things around after catching a legendary and then proceeded to immediately catch another legendary uh, while also killing a legendary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you should definitely check out the last episode if you missed it. Uh, and so one of the things that we said that we would do today is we said we would check out the legendary that we caught, which is... Shellos. No, Yuxi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? So you got the pink Shellos up here and the blue Shellos over here. Put them next to each other. Uh... Move uh, Machop down there. All right, so let's check out our Yuxi. Okay. Level 50. Currently the strongest Pokemon we have. <laughs> it is obviously, it is just Psychic type. So we knew it was at least Psychic. Now we know it is just Psychic type. It is rash nature. It has good endurance and it likes dry food. It has 83 attack. 149 defense, 103 special attack, 124 special defense, and 111 speed. That's really nice. And its ability is levitate. It gives full immunity to all ground type moves, mm. which makes sense. It has confusion, yawn, future sight, and amnesia. So, cool. like I said last time, and you confirmed, this is not a Pokemon that is joining our party, but it's cool to have it. It's kind of cute. Yeah. Um, uh, and we also have Metacham still here. So uh, that needs to come with us, correct? Yes. Okay. okay. So we are depositing Cherap for Medicham. Thank you, Cherub, for having us in the clutch, and it sucks that I have to take you off the team now. <laughs> uh, or I should say that we already took you off the team and then brought you back to do the one thing that we really needed you to keep doing, <laughs> and then we have to put you back in here as if it wasn't important for mm. us to have you for that thing. Um, it sucks. Yeah. It has the cleanse tag. Do we want to take that? No. Okay. I don't think so. All right. Nobody else has items, right? Oh, this Clefairy that we caught is carrying a Lepa Berry, as is the Cleffa. Oh. Interesting. Anybody else? No, that's it. I guess we can take the berries. Okay. What's the cleanse tag do again? Uh, if it's the top Pokemon in your party, it um, it makes wild Pokemon less likely to appear. Maybe we do. Okay. All right. And so if you recall, we are now going to be headed to the east. So we can check our map so I can confirm the name of the place that we're going to. But we were told to go to places we'd never been before. <laughs> and so on the map, that is... The gray stuff. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. There is the plate that you talk about all the time in this game. Uh, Sunny Shore City. So we're going to go like east from here, a little bit north, and then east again um, as we get near the Valor Lakefront area. Okay. Um, so as we are traveling, folks, one thing that I like to try to mention at the beginning of these episodes, please do not forget to subscribe and ring that bell. We really do appreciate it. Uh, it helps us out a lot, but it also helps you out as well. You will get notifications whenever any of our videos come out, including as this series continues in the coming weeks. You can also um, make sure to check out our other channels, link down in the description box below, and we have other series on this channel as well. So uh, thank you in advance for doing that. The cool thing, Amy, is in this area up here, something that we weren't able to do before, but we can kind of do now, is in a couple of spots here, if I recall correctly. No, nope, not there. Here, yes. You can use rock climb in some of these areas. Oh, like in reverse? Yeah, you can climb down. Interesting. But yeah, so you use rock climb. 
and it gets you to a new area that you haven't been able to access before. Hmm. Why, uh, oh, is there another? Yeah, there's another Yeah, right there. It's hard to see. It sure is. This item better be good. It needed four rock climbs to get to. Yeah. It's the only thing in this area, unless there's, like, hidden items that I'm not finding. But Iron. Dream Eater. Oh. Well, that just makes it more frustrating that we don't have Sing, but... I doubt that uh, Charap would have been able to learn Dream Eater anyway. But yeah, you have to... The opposing Pokemon has to be asleep. You eat its dream and then you regain some health. Meh. Not worth it. Yeah. It does a, a fair amount of damage, if I recall correctly, but... But you have to put it to sleep first, right. and then while it's asleep, you have to eat its dream, and then if it wakes up before you use Dream Eater, it doesn't work, obviously. So. Gotcha. All right, well, anyway, we were able to do that rock climb a little bit. And then if we go here, there was a person, like, standing here, I think, or something, blocking this path. He is not there anymore, or they are not there anymore, I don't recall. Did we fight that woman over there? Yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't believe she fights. I think uh. she's just a conversation. Yeah, she lost her key or something. What am I to do? I've gone and dropped my sweet key somewhere again. The hotel people won't be happy with me. I'm sure I had it when I left the reception counter earlier. So it's like, I guess, hidden around here somewhere. I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever done anything with that before. This is a conspicuous spot. Maybe I've already been here, and that's why. Okay. Nothing there. Do you want to go through the grass? We're on Route 222. Hotel Grand Lake to the uh, west. Uh, let's take a look at our team for a minute. Sure. See who we have here. Dialga's up top. Yeah, good call let's to take, take a look. Let's take Dialga Shh. out of sure. the top. Sure, and replace it with? Uh, Cricketune. And then, um, what's Cricketune's item? Sorry. Uh, the fist plate increasing its, um... The damage of its fighting type attacks, okay. aka Rock Smash. Yeah, I was thinking about the Cleanse Tag, but I, I'd rather gain experience for Cricketune. Sure. So we don't really need the Cleanse Tag. Okay. Do you want to try to fight this trainer or go in the grass first? Uh, fight the trainer. I'm quite bored. Care to break the monotony? Then why don't you do something? Well... You're challenged by Rich Boy Trey with oh, one right. Pokemon, <laughs> Luxio. Oh. Level 43. We've got Cricketoon level 41. X Scissor, Bug Buzz, Cut, or Rock Smash. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Electric is pretty powerful, isn't it? Yeah. Except uh, against ground types. It does nothing against ground types. So. Yeah, but ground type is the only type that has a special effective thing against it. Yes, yes. Correct. Wow. All right. Um, Lance. Hmm. Let's X as a writ. But yeah, that's, it's, that's basically its glaring weakness, is that if you have a ground type, you basically neutralize it entirely. Yeah. So... Luxio used Crunch. You almost killed it in one hit, by the way, if you didn't. Obviously, you missed that. Whoa. Damn, that was a strong Crunch. Crunch is good. Yeah. Uh, let's just... We can probably bug buzz it the rest of the way. Okay. It hits. And finishes it off. Okay. Luxio faints. Krikatoon gained 1077. Nice. And you defeated Rich Boy Trey. The monotony was broken, but got six thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars for winning. Thanks, rich boy. Because he's rich. I'll go rest at the hotel. I've had quite enough of this. Okay. Oh, okay. In the grass, or it's uh, so tiring doing one thing ever. I mean, <laughs> for a man who has possibly never had to work a day in his life, yeah, that's probably true. Uh, we can go down the stairs, up or down, or we can. Um, Let's go in the grass. 
This is a big piece of grass. Yes. We run into a wild... <gasps> Mr. Mime. A wild Mr. Mime appeared. Level 41. And we've got a bug type. Oh, boy. Let's switch. Uh, okay, two. Um, Why do you want to switch? Because... I'm going to catch this Mr. Mime. Oh, wait. We already have a Mr. Mime, don't we? We have a Mime Jr. <gasps> oh, my God. Yes. We can have a collection of mimes. <laughs> that is, that is, I feel like, not something anyone in the history of the world has ever went, <gasps> and <laughs> talked about positively before. I'm going to have a collection of mimes. It's usually <laughs> like, oh, God. We have a collection of mimes. <laughs> well... Uh, I'm not passing judgment on anybody else. Why should you do it on me? Um, let's put in... Oh, I want to be really careful about this. Wow. It's a 41. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, 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 For those of you who have not... While Amy is thinking, for those of you that have not seen our playthrough of Pokemon Red, you should go watch it to know why Amy loves Mr. Mime so much. Maybe I should use... Maybe I should keep Krikatoon in and use Bug Buzz, but not x to, okay. like, get it low, but not kill it. Okay. To try to catch it, then? It used Substitute. What? What is that thing? Mr. The Wild Mr. Mime made a Substitute. So you use Bug Buzz, you hit the Substitute. The Substitute took damage for the Wild Mr. Mime. And then the Wild Mr. Mime Substitute faded, and Mr. Mime came back out. It's super effective. Whoa. No I'm a little afraid. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> mm, no. Um, it's a 41. Uh, I think, okay. I think we do bug buzz. I'll be so mad if it dies. It used recycle, but it failed. I don't know what that means. Well, recycle is the thing that lets it reuse a berry or whatever that it's eaten on no. previously. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So now we switch out of Krikatoon. Two? That's a good question, too. Um, do... Thinking. I know you're thinking. That's fine. Blissey's Rock Climb? Okay. <laughs> you think you need to hurt it that much more? Uh, do you think it's going to hurt it that much more? I, I just mean, do you think you need to hurt it at all before throwing a ball at it? Is really more what I'm asking. Yeah. Oh, it used substitute. Never mind, you're fine. Oh. It made a substitute. Okay, so we can just throw a ball now then. Uh, to catch this right. stuffed animal? Oh, is that what you would end up doing? I mean, no, you can't catch a stuffed animal. Uh, I don't believe it would work. Let's find out. I don't actually know that I've ever tried to catch a substitute before. It's no good. It's impossible to aim at a Pokemon that's not in sight. Oh. Yeah, so you have to break the substitute first, but any damage that you do to the substitute, none will go over into Mr. Mime. So no oh, matter what attack will. you use. Oh, okay. Not against a substitute. Oh, Okay. I didn't realize that. Okay, so we can just, um, we can probably do a rock climb here anyway then. Uh, okay, you will you can learn some things about substitute, that's fine. Blissey used rock climb. The substitute took damage for the wild Mr. Mime. It's still there. Oh. So the thing to know about substitute is Mr. Mime used a portion of its health to create that substitute. Right. Now... Any amount of damage that you do to that um, substitute counts towards the amount of health that Mr. Mime used to make said substitute. So if it used 50 hit points to make that substitute, but now you just dealt 5 points to it, that substitute can still take 45 more points of damage. Now, if you were to use Thunder, let's say... Okay, so this bar isn't actually accurate, or it is? That is Mr. Mime's current health, not the oh, substitute's no. current health. So 
if you were to use thunder, for example, and I'm not even saying that you need to use that, I'm just throwing it out as an example. If you, you were to use thunder and do like 80 damage to this thing while it had 45 health remaining or hit points remaining for this yeah. substitute, it would simply fade. It would take that damage and fade, but Mr. Mime would not take the extra 40 okay. or whatever, okay, 35 okay. damage. That makes it less scary. So we can hit it with, uh, like, a thunder. Yeah. Mr. Mime used Psychic. So he gets to step in, do an attack every turn, and nice. then step away, and the sub still stays up. Substitute is very popular for competitive play, mm -hmm. because you can set up a substitute and then do, like, um, things like we saw last time with um, Amnesia or... Nasty plot where you're raising your stats, yeah. but you're hiding behind a substitute the whole time. So your stats are going up, but you have a blockade in front of you. Right. So that even if a super powerful attack is going to be coming at you, all it's going to do is break the substitute that you spent a little bit of health on. Nice. So. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Uh, all right. Let's um, throw a ball. Throw a ball. I figured. Okay. All right, Mr. Mime. One. Two. Wow. I'm quite impressed. It used trick, but it failed because I don't. What is trick? Let me double check. Oh, interesting. Maybe it doesn't have one. Uh, trick is a is an ability or a, a an attack that switches items between you, your Pokemon, and the opposing Pokemon. But I don't think this wild Mr. Mime is holding an item. <laughs> so yeah. I don't think it would work. Uh, it appeared to be caught. Mr. Mime used Recycle, but it failed. Yeah, it does not have an item. Although the um, abilities that it has uh, really would benefit it for having an item. Because it could use a berry, recycle, and then give that berry to the opposing Pokemon and steal whatever they have. Mr. Mime was caught. Nice. We did it. Mr. Mime's data was added to the Pokedex. Mr. Mime, the barrier Pokemon, is the psychic type, of course. It is 4 feet 3 inches tall and weighs 120.1 pounds. Oh, that's a lot. It is a pantomime expert that can create invisible but solid walls using miming gestures. <laughs> <laughs> no nickname? But you could call it Marcel. <laughs> no. <laughs> Mr. Mime was transferred to box one in Bebe's PC. Marcel cannot be replaced. Wow. You run into a wild... Blue Shellos. Oh my god. A wild Gastrodon appeared. It looks like a Blue Shellos. I wonder why. I was fucking just making that shit up. Oh, well... You were very close. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we catch this thing too? If you want to. Yeah! X scissor, bug buzz, cut, or rock smash. Oh, or switch. crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, it's level 40. It is level 40. Goof. X scissor? Okay. Don't die. I don't think it will. It won't. Ooh, it did not. It, it used did. rain dance. It's Ooh. raining now. All right. That looks like less than half. Considerably, yeah. Okay. So I can use a second X scissor here. Correct. It's so sad. It's so sad? It's a sad face. <laughs> It used Mud Bomb. Ew. Which did a fair amount of damage, but it's not very effective. Rain continues to fall. What would you like to do? You want to throw a ball? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see if this Gastrodon's more um, cooperative than the Mr. Mime. It was. Wow, considerably. Gastrodon was caught. Okay. Uh, Gastrodon's data was added to the Pokedex. 
Gastrodon, the sea slug Pokemon, is water ground. So it gains the ground type when it evolves. It is 2 feet 11 inches tall and weighs 65.9 pounds. It has a pliable body without any bones. If any part of its body is torn off, it grows right back. Hmm. No nickname. Transfer to box one. Cool. You happy with your your catches today? Yeah. We didn't get our um, okay. as elf or whatever. Correct. But uh, we got some cool stuff. Yeah, and you remembered its name too. It's a floatzel. Not catching that thing. Okay. Well, it's level 41, and we got Cricketune. Good, let's kill it. Okay, we can try. Uh, X Scissor, Bug Buzz, Cut, Rock Smash. Uh, X Scissor. Floatzel used Whirlpool. Don't. Too late. It already did. It never ends. We took 13 damage and we're trapped in the in the vortex. X Scissor does wow that much. That's a lot. But we take damage from Whirlpool at the end of the turn. Seven damage specifically. Okay, uh, we can really do something else here. Like, uh, like cut. Floatzel used Whirlpool and it missed. Nice. We're very fortunate. And Cut finishes off the Floatzel. Nicely done, Amy. Yay! <laughs> Floatzel faints. Cricketune gained 1,042. Yay! Good job. There's got to be something at the end of one of these, right? There's a full restore. There's oh, definitely sick. something at the end of one of these. What about this top one? Oh, God. Really? Of course. I had to falter with my movement, so of course we ran into another Gastrodon. Well, we can run from this one because we've got okay. Cricketune up here who's dying. At 15. All right, we run. Got away safely. So yeah, isn't it cool? It's It was the water type and it gained the ground type as well, which means it's now no longer weak to electri electricity. Cool. In fact, it's immune to electricity. We run into a wild... Gastrodon! Well, I guess we're going to have to fight this one with a different Pokemon. Okay. But if we switch out a Cricketune, it'll still gain some experience, and it's pretty close to leveling up. Good. Who would you like to switch to? Um, mm, 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 mm. Somewhat unfortunate, but... With water and ground, what it would be four times weak to something, but... Uh... Well, we can use Blissey here. Because we're trying to level up Blissey as well. So we will do Thunder. Uh, I just told oh. you it was immune to electric. Shit, sorry. That's um. okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. Gastrodon used Rain Dance. We can... Oh. We can use... Um. <laughs> Blissey's only move that would make sense is Blizzard. Rock but Climb's going to do nothing, Fire Blast, it's part water and ground, which is, you know, super effective against fire, and Thunder won't work at all. Yeah, but I still has a minus sign for for water. Yeah. Well, but it has a plus for ground, is what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. Fine, so we'll do that. I said it's the best we have. I did not say it was a good <laughs> option. Uh, Blissey used Blizzard, and it I mean, hit. It's a good move, so it'll probably still do a decent amount. Nope. <laughs> Gastrodon <up> used <laughs> Hidden Power. Yeah, Gastrodon is a very good Pokemon, and it has very high special defenses. Hidden Power was super effective. Rain continues to fall. So yeah, either we keep doing Blizzard, or we're going to have to like switch out. We'll switch out. That's okay. fine. Two. Um. Mm. Uh, well, well, well. <laughs> okay. Um. At a jam. I was uh, very, very cool. That's what I was thinking too. <laughs> there's no, again, there's no right or wrong answer necessarily. I mean, Luxio wouldn't be happy, but you have crunch and stuff, so it would still be fine. It tried to use rain dance, but it's already raining. Rain continues to fall. See. Um. All right. And what attack would you like to use on Minicham? 
Fighting type, rock type, or uh, confusion? I think confusion. That's, again, exactly what I was thinking. So, yeah, okay. makes sense. Okay. We use confusion. It does that much. Gross. Mud bomb. Also gross. So, maybe its special defense is very high, but maybe its defense isn't? Okay. That's that's not even a hint. I actually don't recall what its <laughs> what its stats look like. But well, we will use rock smash and see what happens. You got it. We use rock smash. Okay. And... Maybe then we use drain punch. Okay. Its defense fell. It used rain dance, but it's already raining. Oh, the rain stopped. It was so close. Uh, we use drain punch. Take that HP, Medicham. We finish it off. And go back up to 96. Gastrodon had its energy drained. It faints. And then we gained 335 experience on Cricketoon and 335 on Blissey and 335 on Medicham. Wow. So Cricketoon did not level up. That's still pretty good, though. Oh, to, Jesus. To split among three of them. Yes. And then we take one step and run into a Mr. Mime. Okay. Cricketoon is here. Okay. X scissor bug buzz cut rock smash or switch. I think we have to switch. I yeah, really I, wanted to like I don't think we're faster. Yeah. So that would be I a assume problem. we're not. And even if we were our X scissor wouldn't kill it. It would just almost kill it. That's possibly not true. It's stab, it's super effective, and our attack is very high. But regardless, I think yeah. it will be faster than us. Marcel was very fast. Okay. Let's put Blissey in. Makes sense to me. And we'll use, um... Uh, I don't know, fire? Sure. Mr. Mime used Recycle, but it failed. So we could have stayed in, but that's fine. It used Recycle, but it failed. It's like trying to pick up an item it hasn't even used yet. Or reuse an item that it hasn't even used yet. <laughs> Reduce, reuse, wow. recycle, kids. It took very little damage from that. Boo! Blizzard, then. It used Recycle, but it failed. Blizzard, miss. Fine, we'll use Thunder. And then we'll use Rock Climb. It used and then Substitute. We'll fucking... <sighs> we made a Substitute. We use Thunder. It hits, but it just breaks the sub. Sub faded. Okay, again. Thunder again. It used only Substitute again. Just using Rock Climb at that point. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't going to let you. <laughs> Good. I'd, I'd rather end this fight sometime today. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it keeps using substitute, then I guess we won't. It can literally only do so many. It used trick, but it failed. Thunder hits. Ironic, as our Mr. Mime, or our Marcel, was our thunder user in red. Yeah. Mr. Mime faints. Cricketoon gained 408 and grew to level 42. Yay! Decent pluses. 127 HP, 102 attack, nice. 48 defense, 56 special attack, 53 special defense, and 70 speed. And Blissey gained 408 as well, and also leveled up nice. to level 40. Very good battle. Okay, you got pluses to attack and defense there. <laughs> that doesn't always happen. 262 HP, 25 attack and defense, 74 special attack, 123 special defense, and 68 speed. Yeah, I gotta get a bunch of irons. I gotta make like a like a defense Kool-Aid. Wow. Everybody drink the Kool-Aid. Uh, do you want to go <laughs> back to the center since we're close? Just kidding. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> um, center, sure. I'm not trying to twist your arm I just was curious yeah uh, we're over here at the Valor Lakefront is it no it's not faster to go that way I guess damn it's a long walk back to the center alright let's do it 
I thought you said it was close. I lied, I oh. guess. It's it's close in that you don't have to deal with any like Pokemon battles along the way, but Oh, I guess unless we run into a wild one here, we did not. It's just ugh. very time consuming. Okay. So yeah, there are speed runs to this game. I don't know if it's this game in particular, but there are speed runs to certain Pokemon games. Like I talk about how bad I am at the movement in these games. Yeah. Um, there are speed runs of these games where the number of steps that you take matters. And so the the exact path from the moment you start the game to the moment you end the game is preset for speedrunners. They know exactly where they have to be at any given time, where they have to turn, where they have to walk. Um, it, it sounds horrifying. and I, It does. Yeah. It sounds really, really awful. And, um, well, I shouldn't say really awful. It sounds like it takes a great deal of skill. Yes. That and I practice. will never acquire yeah. um, because I don't really care to. Um, I will say, though, from somebody from the outside looking in, right, we, we are in no way uh, a part of... Ooh, there's more rocks to climb. Um, we are in no way a part of the... Um, Pokemon speedrunning community yet and that's not even like a teaser it's just something that we we are not currently a part and you know maybe someday but that's not where we're what we're looking towards at this moment no. but um but I will say they seem like very awesome people uh yeah. when ooh we found a rare candy uh in watching them at like GDQ events and things like that. They just seem like very fun people. Yeah. Um, and and very welcoming to people who are inter who are interested in starting Pokemon speedruns. So, you know, shout outs to them for uh at minimum good optics, but <laughs> <laughs> at maximum uh just seemingly very decent human beings. God damn it. There's a there's an item over. I knew there was gonna be something down there, but we just get to hear Blissey's cry over and over again. Yeah, this is kind of annoying that we did, we did this so many friggin' times to only get a rare candy so far. Well, there's did another. Did we go in this here. building? Uh, yeah, and a protein. <gasps> That's okay, I think good. two proteins. I don't think we have we've used the last one yet. No, we haven't. Okay. Uh, well, let's check everybody's I attack to give sets. Give it to Me Metacham, I think. Oh, uh, okay. You want to double check or just do it? Then? Double check. Okay. Uh, One hundred two on Cricketoon. 25 on Blissey, of course, 73 on Empoleon, 112, 128, 65, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, Metacham. Okay, let's get those proteins and give them to Metacham. It's going to yeah. be in the medicine pocket. Protein powder. It should be down in For this muscles. general area. There it is. Use on Metacham, his base attack rows. Use on Metacham his base attack rows. Okay, so what was it? Sixty-five. Nah. Uh, I think. Yes. Sixty-seven plus two, okay. as we would assume from two proteins. All right. Well, can we give Blissey the iron that we have? We don't have any irons. Yes, we do. We have one. We have one iron. Uh. Maybe no, we already gave we, it to her. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't... But I don't then why would her attack be exactly the same? Sometimes it's like that. So it, 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 they don't automatically increase and decrease at the same rate. Always. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, back to the water, I suppose. Curious if there's actually anything down here. Like, why would they let us come here? There's got to be something, right? Yeah, a rare candy. No, there was a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely a rare candy. All right, let's get on Empoleon. Surf down this way. Let's go surfing. Yeah. Hang 10. Hang 10. I guess we could check the map and see where we're headed, if anywhere. It's a wild wingull. Level 30. We send out Cricketune, level 42. X scissor, bug buzz, cut, rock smash. We could switch. We could run. We could do all the things. Uh, just I don't know. X scissor it. 
Got it. Nicely done. It's not very effective, Amy. Oh, no. I guess that means we're going to be taking a lot of attacks from it. Wingull fainted. No, we won't. We gained 274. Okay. Ah, there's an item. How do we get in there? And a wild tentacool. Ew. <laughs> Level 24. Yeah, well, X's are this too. Yeah. <laughs> It's level 24, we're level 42. Just swap the numbers, it's not very effective. But Tentacle fainted. Krikatoon gained 360. Okay. Oh, there's like a trainer down there. How the hell? Interesting, we're like fully blocked off. Okay, well, I sure did try. It's another Tentacle. We'll do x again. We're level 28 this time, fancy. Okay. Actually, okay. Sorry. It was a 28, so we could have probably done, like, I don't know. Not necessarily having to do X as really. Oh, I just meant because we did it last time on the 24. This was four levels higher. Oh, oh. I thought it was uh, 34, but of course it wasn't because no. you said it was 24 because ours was 42, and yeah. you talked about that. I, I sure did. But regardless. My brain didn't... Uh, understand it i guess it's fine <laughs> here's a wingle level 23 egg scissor is fine okay just having a quick tune run around just slashing the shit out of everything anything we come across in the yeah, water sounds good <laughs> quick tune gained 210 it's not very much at all i should actually all right if this is gonna That's be the case wingles suck <laughs> Does that mean there's anything actually over here, like, worth our time? Uh. Oh, I think you found the path. I may have. We'll see. It's a Wingull. Level 27. Okay, X scissor again. Click, 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 click. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And it's dead. Oh, that was a crit as well. Not necessary, but nope. thanks. Krikatoon gained 246. Yeah, I think you found it. Me too. Wow, look at this girl. Yeah. She's very caught yeah. in the... It's uh... like, you all right there, lady? Or... <laughs> in the waves there. Yeah. Level 30, Wingull. Now what? X scissor. Wingle used quick attack. <gasps> Krikatoon took some damage. Six points. X scissor. Does not finish it off. It's not very effective. Mm. Now what? Uh, now we use cut. Makes sense to me. Wingle used quick attack again. Did another six damage to us. We use cut. And finish it off. What a surprise. Krikatoon gained 274. Okay. Hi, girl. Hi, wave riding trainer. How about a battle on the sea? Mm -hmm. See, so you said hi to her. She said hi to you back. I called her wave riding. You are challenged by swimmer Haley with two Pokemon. Meryl is oh, first. It's so cute. <laughs> We've got Krikatoon. X scissor. Wow. <laughs> okay, X scissor. It does enough. Bye, Meryl. I love you. <laughs> Meryl faints. Be quieter next time. <laughs> 384. Azumarill is next. Will we change Pokemon? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here's Azumarill. Level 31 as well. Excessor. It looks like an Easter egg. 
Yes, it does. And it looks like the Easter Bunny with the ears. Yeah. Azumarill used Bubble Beam. Okay, now what? Um, now we can hit it with a cut. You got it. Cut. Finishes it off. Nicely done. I assume I will. <laughs> you gained 1015. Nice. Or 1015. You defeated Swimmer Haley. You sure schooled me there. You got $496 for winning. Maybe I should switch to surfing too. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, here's a sailor. Traveling alone, are you? That's impressive. How about we battle? Okay. It is impressive since I'm a child and I should have an adult with me. It's Sailor Paul who has a Gyarados. Oh, shite buckets. <laughs> Traveling alone, are you? Here, take this Gyarados. <laughs> oh, it intimidates us. Yeah, it sure does. Okay, well, X is a I guess. Wow. Uh. Jesus. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Cricketoon. Uh, here's an X scissor. Yep. It's not very effective. Gyarados used bite. Don't bite me, please. <laughs> wow. Let's switch out. Oh, what a cool idea. Who will we switch to? Yeah. Let's switch to Luxray. You're in charge, Luxray. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. All I right, mean, we we intimidate the Gyarados. Gyarados. He is an electric type, so maybe his urine is electrically charged. Wow. I don't know. Thunderfang or Spark? Thunderfang. We'll fang him back since he has fangs. It's true. Yeah. And finish it off. Super effective. Gyarados faints. Cricketune gains 709. Luxray also gains 709. Sailor Paul's about to send in Machop. Will we change Pokemon? Uh. I mean. Machop. That's so weird. Um. No. Okay. We send him a chop. What do you want to use? Um. Hmm. Thunderfang, Spark, Strength, Crunch. Let's use Crunch. Okay. Oh, wait, that's... Am I reading it the episode you, way? I was going to say, I really Damn hope it. you're not reading it backwards. Damn it. Well, at least I kind of caught it this time. Yep. Um, well, whatever. Just uh, Thunderfang it. It's so cool. Yeah, it looks really awesome. And then Machop faints. Nicely done. Luxray gained 498. And you defeated Sailor Paul. You're good, Pipsqueak. Yeah, you Pipsqueak. You got $992 for winning. Maybe I'll go work out down at the restaurant again. That place gets different people in every day. And they all like battles. So why are you hanging out in shallow water by yourself? Oh, you know. Because... Let's go check out this dude. Is this really how I have to do this? This seems really dumb. Okay. Well, anyway, that's fine. Ah! Ah! Oh, people. Damn it. It could have been a double battle if this asshole didn't actually turn. Brr. I'm starting to get chilly. I could use a wind to get warmed up. Yeah, that's definitely how it works, dude. So double battles aren't just like a preset thing? Not necessarily. I mean, it, they are, but they aren't. In this case... It would have been a double battle if he was looking on the side, but because he turned he turned and saw us. I didn't now, know that was a thing. Like I thought 
single battles were single battles and double battles were double battles and that's just the way it was. No, in fact, you can walk... If you don't want to have a double battle and someone is, like, visible and they're facing sideways, instead of walking in between them, you can just talk to the first person and fight them in a single. If if it's like the twins where they're standing right next to each other facing in the same direction, yeah. that's an automatic double battle okay. because it has to be that way. And... Some of the like galactic battles or whatever are story battles, okay. right? So there's that. But the but... other ones are singles unless you make them a double. Yeah, and it, it positions it either way, basically. Make yeah. it a double. Wow. Uh, X scissor, bug buzz, cut, or rock smash. Um. Against Golduck, by the way. I didn't yeah, no, I saw. Um, I know. Oh, uh, Krakatoon, man. Um. X scissor. Ooh, almost. Oh. Golduck used disable and it missed. Let's use cut. You finish it off with a cut. Nicely done. Golduck faints. Cricketune gained one thousand. 117. Ooh. Ooh, very close. And another uh, Golduck. I well, can't even see the little notch <laughs> left. Will we change Pokemon? What is it? Another Golduck. Oh, uh, no. I didn't think so. It's it's his second. He only has two Pokemon, so yeah. It's his second Pokemon, Golduck. Uh, another x Uh, well, how about Bug Buzz? Krikatoon used Bug Buzz. Yeah, that way we can do two of those. You got it. Water Pulse. I kind of was afraid of that. We're confused. Do a Bug Buzz. We hurt ourselves. No. We are at four. And then Water Pulse, we are oh. dead. Shit. No last, like, two points of experience for us. Okay, who comes in? Uh, Blissey. I figured. Uh, Blizzard, Fire Blast, Thunder, or Rock Climb? Damn it. <laughs> What's damn it? Rock climb. Okay. Our attack is so low on Blissey that's yeah. not going to do anything. No. I just don't want to waste good moves on a fucking yellow bar. Yeah. All right, fine. Thunder. Okay. Thunder hits and will almost certainly finish it off. Maybe I should have used, like, the fire there because we're fighting, like, possible water things and then... Plus he gained 1192. The chill of the sea and the coldness of defeat. It's a double whammy. You got $512 for winning. Okay. Let's go face this. So yeah, see how she's facing to the side like that? Yeah. So you could walk up to her and talk to her here and battle her and not walk in between them and then, and then face them. But he happened to turn. She won't. She's not a what's called a spinner. All right, so we won't have Krikatoon for this fight. We're going to start with Blissey. Is that all right? Yeah, I guess. Hello there. Aren't you going to swim? No, the game doesn't allow us to do that. Swimmer Mary with two Pokemon. Meryl is first. So that guy had Golduck and Golduck, and she had Meryl and we'll see. But you would have had to face them together. It would have been a Golduck and a Meryl to start. You want to thunder this one, I yeah. assume? And then uh, it would be... Oh, wow, we missed. Uh, and then it would have been followed up by another Golduck uh, for the guy. Meryl used Aqua Ring, and that it surrounded cool, itself okay. with a veil of water. It did look really cool. Thunder hits. Oh, my Meryl. Yeah. That's a, that's a dead Meryl. So cute. Meryl faints. Blissey gained 397. Got, like, no experience for that. Pelipper is next. Oh. 
Okay, well, we'll still use thunder. Makes sense. So yeah, it would have been Golduck, Golduck Merrill, and then Golduck Pelipper. We finish it with a thunder. There's no chance this thing lives. It's four times super effective. We're ten levels higher. Yeah, okay. By Pelipper. Ballista gained 1,053. Beautiful. And we defeated Swimmer Mary. What's saltier, my tears or the sea? We got $480 for winning. Keep your bodily fluids to yourself. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> God, we ran into a wild tentacle. What a yeah. surprise. Level 23. We've got Blissey. Stupid. Blizzard, Fire Blast, Thunder, Rock Climb, Run, Switch. Uh, I don't know. Let's do Blizzard on this one. It hits. Did half. It's not very effective. Bubble Beam. Does six damage to us. Okay, let's Blizzard again. It hit. Nicely done. That's a wild tentacle down. It's not very effective. But Blissey gained 345. Okay. I forgot to, like, talk to her, but let's see. There aren't many sea routes that you can swim in, Ho in Sinnoh. It makes me want to take a vacation in the Hoenn region. Yeah, there sure was a lot of goddamn water in the Hoenn region, that's for sure. You found a water stone. Ooh. Okay. So we surf on Empoleon. And we run into a wild tentacle. Level 27. Blissey. Okay. Uh, let's do two blizzards again. Blizzard number one hits. It'll be more than two blizzards. It's a higher level. It's not very effective. Toxic spikes. What the fuck, man? Poison spikes are scattered all around your team's feet. All right, so... Sorry, but you might be able to uh, fix it with a rock climb depending on how much health it has left. Yeah, you might be okay. Sorry. Fine. Tentacle use bubble beam. Seven damage. Want to try it? I said fine. We use rock climb. Does enough. Sorry about that, but thank you. Tentacle faints. Blissey gained 405. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get out of here. Gotta surf for one tile here. Okay. <laughs> so stupid. What the hell? <laughs> Nothing there. All right, let's get back to where we were. We run into a wild tentacle. Level 21 this time. So if you wanted to blizzard, you can, but we only have two left. That's fine. It's fine. Do, do, do yeah. you just want to do it? All right. Blizzard. Okay. It's not very effective, but we knew that. Acid. So. Did three damage. Okay. Blizzard again. Finishes it off. Nicely done. All righty. Good use of your blizzards. Tentacool faints. Blissey gained 315. She's getting real close. Yeah. Real close. Nicely done. I do not know how we get down there. And I don't fully feel like exploring right now, but... We have a Wingull. Mm. Level 30. 
Okay. I wonder what we'll do. Blizzard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no, we're out of blizzards. It's only weakness. <laughs> Thunder mist. Wingle used water pulse. Don't do it. Don't do it. Duh, you son of a bitch. And Thunder misses again. Quick attack hits. We're confused. And we hurt ourselves. Come on. Wingle used Roost, but its HP is full. Thankfully, we snap out of confusion and kill it with a thunder. Yay. Whew. Okay. We are almost out of here. Look at its stupid face. <laughs> Blissy gained 274 and leveled up. Nice. Level finally. 41. Mmm. 269 HP, very nice. 25 attack and defense, 75 special attack, 126 special defense, and 69 speed. Double 69s, very nice. I don't give a shit. <sighs> I want pluses to my attack and defense, god damn it. It seems like it happens every other level that you get plus one to your attack and defense. It's your, should be the final Pokemon that we run into in this water. A tentacle, level 23. We have Blissey. You want to... Thunder it or fire blast it or rock climb it? Yeah, let's fire it. Okay. We'll cook it up. It we'll make some calamari. Tentacle use wrap. Four whole damage. <laughs> and then we're hurt by wrap, which dealt uh, 16 damage, actually. Oh, okay. Fire blast misses again. What the fuck, man? Tentacle use wrap, but it missed because we're already wrapped up. In Stop fact, sucking, Blissey. Speaking of which, we take damage from Rap. 16. Do it. I kept you on this team. You better stop sucking. <laughs> Fire Blast hits. And does about half. It's not very effective. Okay. Tentacle used Acid. Four damage. The Rap does like 16 or 17, but... Fire again. It missed. You gonna burn it. Not if we miss. Acid. <laughs> Four damage. How come the blizzards like hit so much more than the fire? Uh, they, weren't they at the same or almost the same accuracy? I don't remember. Oh, okay. But regardless, fire hits and we'll finish off the tentacle. Yay. Tentacle faints. Blissey gained 345. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, thank God. We got out alive. So yeah, I figure if we go down this way, that's how we get back to the, we get down to that other area where that other Pokeball was. But I just don't care right now. Uh, it's a Buizel. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got Blissey. What do you want to do? Uh, we can um, thunder it. It misses. Weasel use Swift. Which never misses. Four damage, or three damage, whatever. Thunder finally hits, or thankfully hits. Yeah, Thunder's usually pretty good. Yeah. And the Blizzard was pretty good this time around, too. Correct. It's not always, but it was this time. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, uh, frustratingly for me, I feel like we got very little done this episode. But we leveled up some people and yes. we got some items and we explored some areas. Right. Uh, and so that's pretty good, I think. 
Uh, and so, hey, uh, we're back at a Pokemon Center, and it's been about that time. So, yeah, that is going to be the end of this particular episode. Thank you all so very much for joining us. Yes. I, as always, hope everybody enjoyed. Please don't forget, as I mentioned earlier, about subscribing and ringing that bell. Uh, you can also like and share. That's super helpful to us also. Uh, and check out our other channels and our other series and all that fun stuff. We, we make yes. lots of things here at this Geek for All family of channels. And so for us here, I have been Joe. And I'm Amy. And as we always say, in whichever video of ours you watch next, we will see you all next time. Thanks, everybody.